Hi, I'm Amber. I'm a Coral Watch ambassador. Hi, my name's Melinda. I'm a Coral Watch ambassador. Hi, I'm Diana. I'm a Coral Watch project manager. Hi, my name's Natalie and I'm a Coral Watch ambassador. My name's Justin Marshall. I'm the founder and director of Coral Watch. I'm here in my garden today giving you some ideas about how you can save the reef from home. The next time you're having a party, think of our oceans and say no to balloons. Every year, balloons kill seabirds, turtles, dolphins, whales, fish, sharks, even cows, dogs and sheep. My call to action to help save the Great Barrier Reef is to cycle to work on an e-bike as often as I can. So I try and cycle three times a week. It's fantastic, 20 kilometers every day. By riding my e-bike, I'm not putting two tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere every year. When you're at the shops buying clothes, try and choose more sustainable products. Things that are made of more natural fibers like cotton, hemp, and wool. And if you do buy those materials made out of synthetic fibers, maybe you could purchase one of these bags. So when you wash those synthetic fibers, they'll catch in the bag and you can put them in the bin. By growing your own veggies, like your own tomatoes, here's a lot, a couple of green ones here and some red ones through here. These come up really beautiful and they grow so easily. I don't use any pesticides or fertilizers, a few natural fertilizers. Um, and it also means that by growing them in my garden, I don't need to worry about any plastic packaging at the supermarket. I know my, where my food comes from and I know that it hasn't traveled hundreds of thousands of kilometers to get to my plate. My call to action for the ocean is to get as many people involved in citizen science as possible. Coral Watch is a citizen science project at the University of Queensland. Coral Watch uses the Coral Health Chart. It's a very simple tool that anyone can use to help collect valuable data on the reef. You simply hold the chart next to the coral and compare the colors on the chart with the colors on the reef and you record the matching codes. Anyone can do it. Once you've done your survey, you make sure you upload your data. To get people involved in citizen science has amazing outcomes because you learn so much while you're doing this. and watch your call to action for the ocean.